Hi, my name is Carolyn Injoyan. I'm a business development manager at Matrox Graphics. In this video, we will show how to configure XDO3 for network operation and extend two computer systems with four video outputs over a standard gigabit ethernet. You will be able to control the two computer systems from a single remote station. We will start by setting up the transmitter unit and connect the four video outputs of the workstation to the video inputs of the XCO transmitter unit using DisplayPort cables. Next, we connect the audio out of the system to the line in on the transmitter unit. Now connect a USB 2.0 cable from your system to your transmitter. Finish setting up the transmitter by plugging the power supply unit. Once the first system and transmitter unit are ready to go, repeat the same steps with the second system and transmitter unit. Now let's begin setting up the receiver. Start by connecting the four monitors to the receiver using DisplayPort cables. Next, plug in your keyboard and mouse into the USB 2.0 ports on the front of the unit. Then connect your speakers to the line-out audio jack. Now connect the power supply unit to the receiver. To extend and switch over IP, we are connecting both transmitter and receiver units to the gigabit ethernet switch. Once the connections are made, power on all the units and the systems. We will now configure the units using XCO Central Manager. Once you finish configuring XCO3 units using XCO Central Manager software, you can now log in through the OSD on the receiver unit. Simply enter your username and password. The OSD gives you thumbnail previews of the two systems you have access to. You can simply connect and click OK, and you will be able to control remotely your quad workstation. To learn how to set up XCO3 units with XCO Central Manager, please watch our next video in the How To series.